Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video, we will be taking a look at knives with three inch blades or shorter for stocking stuffers, Black Friday deals, birthdays, knives to gift people. The holidays are coming up as of the time I'm filming this. It's October, you know, getting through October, almost at Halloween. We're coming up on Thanksgiving, Black Friday, you know, holidays are coming up. You got to start looking to get your stuff get your friends family something nice and if you're the type of person that wants to get a knife for christmas or give a knife for christmas here are some ideas of knives that i think would be generally liked and accepted if you know the person is a big knife geek i think all of these knives will hold up to scrutiny if the person does not know knives, I think all of these knives would be fantastic. Because there are some people out there that are knife snobs and you, you don't want to give them, you want to give them a knife because you know they like a knife, but you don't know if they would like the knife that you see at the store. And probably the first one that they wouldn't like would probably be this guy right here, but we'll get into that down the road. If you've got the money, you know, $160 for a Benchmade bug out tassel stuff not included benjamin bug out everybody likes this knife i love this knife too it is a very nice knife very handy very fidgety um you you can flick the knife out you see this little bar here sliding back and forth pull that back blade can shut very fidgety durable enough for most tasks it, it is a thin light knife but it is a good knife. $160. It's on the high end of knives. And I think anyone you give that knife to will like it. I don't think anyone will have complaints about the Benchmade bug out. Elephant in the room of knives that they probably wouldn't like would be the bird knives. Because the handles are on the cheap side. But a small knife, like the Bird, Bird is the brand. It is made by, owned by Spyderco. This is a budget series from Spyderco. This is the Robin 2. Very good knife, four-way clip. I should also mention on the Benchmade bug out, there's only two positions of clips. But we'll not get into tip up or tip down carries here. We're just talking the knife. I like the Bird Metal Lark 2. It's very small, it's cool, but it's not threatening. It's great for box cutting all the time if you work in an environment that uh, works on boxes a lot, you know, breaking down boxes. You know, you work at Lowe's or Walmart, and you're breaking down boxes left and right. Good knife to have. And it's good for like small food prep and stuff. They're, this knife is very handy for food prep. I think all these knives are great for food prep, except this guy, and we'll get into the reason why when we get there. But this is probably the first knife that people wouldn't like. If they're a big knife snob and they've got the fancy knives, they may not like this. But they probably would. I don't really see why people wouldn't. I love this knife. It is a fantastic little blade. Very handy, full four finger grip. I've got big paws. You know, three-finger grip if you don't want to use the choil. Lock back, very solid, very safe. Fantastic little knife. We'll get in, I'll cover the prices once again when we get to the end. But this ran about $25 when I got it. I've gotten some of these cheaper, some of them full price as time has gone. And, you know, you, you can look around and get deals. Maybe Black Friday is a good day to look around. Here we have the Boker Plus model atlas multi multi because there's multiple instrument in accoutrement inside the atlas just the atlas does not have scissors it is just the knife but the atlas multi is a very good swiss army knife alternative if you don't like all the doodads you just want like a knife and scissors great knife to have i've done a full review on all of these knives you can look through my channel to find them but the Boker Plus Atlas Multi, fantastic knife, very thick blade for what we're, we've got going on here. 
I love this knife. This has been a great knife. Gentlemanly as well. Very slim, very nice. I intentionally roughed up the metal a little bit just to get a little bit extra grip. But that's just me. You know, it comes nice and smooth and nice and shiny. Um, the pocket clip is one way only. Lefties, I'm sorry, but this is that's how it is with this knife. Um, but yeah, it is a very classy, slim knife. It almost has like a, a World War II bayonet feel about it. Very nice. Big pair of scissors. Bigger than the Victorinox scissors. This is a normal Victorinox knife. I did not cut myself. The spring just closed shut. That has not hard, happened hardly ever with me. But as you can see, the scissors are about the same, but the boker is just a little bit bigger. Coming in at about $35. Fantastic knife. Highly recommend. Up next, we have my favorite knife, which I think if you're going to buy just one knife, buy this knife. This knife is fantastic. And that is the QSP Knives Penguin. QSP is the maker. Model is the Penguin. This knife comes in D2 steel. I've had this thing for half a year now. Barely oiled it and there's hardly any rust. So the D2 is very good. I have it in the green micarta, which has aged very well. This is patinaed nicely over the months that I've had this. Two-way pocket clip that recesses inside the handle a little bit there. Very nice. Why I do not think this is a good food prep knife is it is a sheep's foot blade. And you only work with the tip on a sheep's foot blade. There's not a lot to work with when you're cutting hot dogs and summer sausage. Whereas a uh, knife with some belly to it, whether it's a tanto, clip point, yada yada, any knife that has some belly, excluding the tanto because the tanto is straight, but you get the idea. You can kind of rock around a little bit there and get more use out of the knife. This you're going to wear down the tip very quickly if you do just draw cutting. I need to check the time here. Time is still good. Um, but for $35, QSP Penguin. Now they're coming out with a small penguin and a large penguin. Go check those out. Those things look fantastic. QSP, if you see this video, please sponsor me with some of your knives. No money needed. Just send me knives. I'll make videos on it and shout you out. They're fantastic. Swiss Army knife. There's many models. I like, personally, the Deluxe Tinker. Deluxe Tinker comes with pliers. Very nice. Very solid. Are they better than the Knipix 5-inch Cobras? No. But... Very good pliers. Very good scissors. Victorinox has the best scissors ever. Better than anybody else. We have two knife blades. We have a large knife blade here. Which knife steel snobs may complain a little bit, but I see nothing wrong with Victorinox steel. Yes, I appreciate D2, S30V, Magna Cut, all that good stuff, but Nothing wrong with 8CR13 or whatever, you know, this stuff is. Like, this stuff is fantastic. I see nothing wrong with it. We have a screwdriver on the back instead of a corkscrew. We have the awl. We have parcel hook, which I do find useful. Glaring my eyes at Zack in the Wild. I do use this regularly for pulling my ropes and bags and stuff. Very handy. Classic can opener, works like a charm. Classic half stop, bottle cap lifter, flathead, full open, fantastic. You cannot go wrong stuffing a full-sized Swiss Army knife in someone's st stocking. Up next we have the Rat Model 2, Randall Adventure Training Knife Model 2, made by Ontario Knife Company, coming in at about $32.00. Fantastic little knife. Else 8 steel or D2. Very good. 
I love this little guy. Now, this video, all the knife blades are under three inches, at or under three inches, because most places have a restriction on knives with a blade over three inches for public on-person carry. All these knives should fit most legal restrictions. I'm not a lawyer, don't quote me on this, but most places you should be able to get away with carrying in your pocket, in public, one of these knives. So, $160 for the Benchmade Bug Out, $35 for the uh, Boker Plus Atlas Multi, $20 something for the Bird BYRD Knives Robin 2, $32 for QSP Penguin, about $40 to $60, 40 to $80 on various Swiss Army knives, this particular one coming in at about $60 which is the Deluxe Tinker. Coming in at $32 for most models, the Ontario Knife Company Rat 2. I hope you found this video useful, informational. Hope you find a good stocking to stuff one of these knives into. And until the next video, a carry well, and bye-bye.